The Victoria Royals found out the hard way that you can't expect any favors on the Outer Town scoreboard. So last night they took matters into their own hands with a thrilling upset of the Portland Winterhawks in front of a sellout crowd, giving them temporary breathing room in that playoff race. And when the air isn't heavy, it's amazing what you see around the rink. Now, I'm no expert, but those to me look like smiles. Big ones. The Royals put considerable spring back in their step with last night's 4-3 win over Portland, who boasts 47 more points in the standings, and they were considerably less jovial this morning. Uh, the win puts Victoria in seventh, a point ahead of Everett, and three up on ninth place Seattle. The Royals still don't control their own destiny, but what a difference a W makes. It's amazing what you can do with confidence. So, uh, but we're a team that you know tries to evaluate situations, deal with it, and then move on. And this is no different. Yeah, yesterday was an important win, but that's gone. You have to move on from it. You just can't sit because it's like golf. You know, one day you shoot a, a good game, the next day you get brought back to uh, to reality. And the reality is, the Royals were good and lucky. This skinny red metallic fellow was keeper Keith Hamilton's best friend on more than one occasion. Hamilton was money when it mattered though and is a good bet to start again tomorrow. No, it's good. It's uh, I got a couple breaks off the post and it really just, I got to build off it, really focus on the next game. Did it hit the post? I never, <laughs> never saw that. You know, like I said, he stopped pucks and uh, got a little help once or twice from the almighty iron. But uh, confidence and, and um, momentum play a factor into it too and belief. So those are all things you have to look at. So the Royals are now in seventh, three points up on Seattle. But the T-Birds have two games in hand. That's a big stat. They have games remaining against Spokane, Everett, and Portland, but the Royals' magic number is now two, meaning a win tomorrow combined with a Seattle loss means playoffs. Finally tonight, men and women are hitting the sheets in Nanaimo. The pebbled sheets at the Nanaimo Curling Club are home to the BC Mixed Curling Championships. Now, I'm sure a few households out there could take note. Sweeping duties are shared equally in this house. Regional playdowns from across our great province produced eight qualifiers, including a couple of island rinks. Wes Craig from Cary Park and Duncan's Jason Montgomery are among the favorites. The finals run Sunday, and the winners represent, uh, will represent BC at Nationals in Quebec come November. Mixed curling works basically the same as regular curling, but with a couple of quirks. A team has to play with two people of each gender on its team, and they must throw rocks alternately with the opposite gender. So, for example, with a man skipping, you would have a woman playing third, a man playing second, and a woman playing lead. Um, other teams have gone together very successfully with the woman being the skip, and but none at this event. The draws continue tonight and all day tomorrow and Saturday. The finals happen Sunday at 2 p.m.